What is going on, you guys? It is your boy Omzi here. We are back, My Hero Academia, episode 21 of season 6, Lady Nagam versus Deku. This is probably going to be the episode where the fight is finally going to happen, and a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this ever since getting introduced to the Lady Nagant character so far. I am really looking forward to this fight. I love how it's set in the nighttime, it's raining, and just everything that's set up right now and just how it is, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, Bones can pull it off, and hopefully, Bones can do some stuff that they haven't maybe done with animation so far yet in this season because yes Deku and Shigaraki could have been better it's not necessarily saying that it was bad or whatever but no they was definitely could have been better in some aspects of that but I am very very looking forward to this fight and yeah it looks like this episode we might get a little bit more backstory with Lady Nagat I want to see more because we do know that she eventually did kill one of her like former allies in the past so i want to know more about that and just how she ended up here and just everything i want to know more about lady ninkan because everybody's been looking forward to this character and i just want to know more but i am just going to get straight into this episode without any further ado so i can just shut the hell up with that being said if you guys are new to the channel you guys like my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys been notified i won't release those videos typically smash that notification bell because we are so close to 4,000 subscribers so make sure to smash that subscribe button but without any further ado let's get right into into the episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, others. We do know that she's obviously going after the rest of them too, trying to get them off Deku. Woo! Oh my god, oh my, just being able to get out of there. Holy hell. Move. What is All Might going to do in this situation? I will twist fate with you. I like that he's going at okay, that's a sweet ass shot. <laughs> that's a sweet ass shot. It'll be Oh, All Might's going with the intimidation factor here. Okay. <laughs> Love these shots, really, really do. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You know some time was put into that. Where's it coming? Oh, God, right on his flank. He got him a little bit. Freaking airwalk. That airwalk quirk that all for one gave to her. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That is smart, too. Got a lot of smoke into there. He is using a lot, though. What? Put out too much smoke. Okay, so there is a limit. Yeah, that is kind of true. I just want some time. Is he trying to spread it out? Huh. You're not at that level yet. Is he trying to use the third quirk? Two things at once without thinking. Oh? What is this? Fudging? I... I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. She is right on top of him, scoping out that entire scene. 
ってこいおおなんだあれは All directions はい So now decoys and she, yeah. That is smart, though. Really, really smart, but I'm just still trying to figure out. Was that like kind of like a jumping type quirk a little bit? Just like a little extra spring? And it's spring in his step? Oh! God! So she can really do it from anywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> I like this music. Huh. Yeah, and I assume she was one of them. I was a cog in the machine to maintain that trust. Oh. Damn. Wow. Holy shit. But they will just disappear. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, she killed way more. It's a thin, fragile pretense. Only the sparkling stars. This is kind of... Hmm... Wow, there's similarities a little bit with Hawks, too. I can even mention that. Most of the world is gray. Jesus. Yeah. What is she gonna throw at him? Overhaul? What the hell? What is that? <laughs> yeah, no. Does he care about his pops? Yeah, he did lose everything. He has nothing left. His... Yeah. That's all he wants to see. He's so hopeless. Huh. 
Increase the speed of the bullets. That's fast. Oh, damn. By repeating a constant movement, temporarily store kinetic energy and release it. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Stressed on my legs to store energy. Okay. All right. Oh, damn. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! I'll talk, to, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Oh, damn! That's a cool shot as well. And he stopped moving. Dude, now this is the animation I was talking about! Look at this! Oh, damn! <laughs> Over? That was cool as hell, man. And he was able to save him from that bullet. Oh! Would have hit my lower back and ended things. Deku trying, will it work? We know how Deku can kind of go to someone's heart a little bit with what he says. What is she going to say? Uh... What? What? All for one, what? Breach of contract? What do you mean by breach of contract? How pathetic and sad. What the hell? Can he get there? Hawks. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. What the hell? Yeah, someone's got to help him now. Okay, thank you, Deku. Holy shit. Wow. I was your replacement. Okay. So there is a little bit of similarity there. I mean, obviously, like, Fox was the replacement. Huh. She's not even conscious. Yeah. Such sparkling eyes. Oh, 
ないわよ。死よかえ。ターゲット。Bring a target there. She's telling him everything. Man, this is way deep. This is the entire episode, man. Because he had someone he could rely on, someone that saved him. And God didn't have that. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind, they got overall. Now, what are they going to do with overall? <laughs> After everything you did with Aerie, and just everything? Yeah. All of that. How you killed her over and over and over again. Here comes all my quick as hell. <laughs> God, just look at her. She looks dead already. What's Deku thinking? Or is that just more rage in his eyes? I got a lot of questions this episode. Probably, it was definitely one of the best. I could say that right now, but let's, let me go into it. I could say without a shadow of a doubt that animation really did live up. I'm not gonna lie. There, there were like, finally, there were some really good animation shots in here with the entire fight. That entire part with Fajin, I think that, I, please do not hate me in the comments if I mispronounce that. But that entire sequence when Deku went for overhaul and protected him from the bullet, that entire sequence and just everything that transpired after that was really, really beautiful. I absolutely loved it. That entire sequence was great. And with this episode, I probably would say this is maybe my third Third favorite episode in here um, because obviously my first two are the Toya backstory episode and obviously the Dobby Toya reveal episode which I say is the best episode so far in the season but this episode really really was very good and we got a lot of layers with the Nagat character we really really did and how I was saying throughout the episode is where her and Hawks really have a similarity to both of them and we eventually found out that Hawks was the replacement for Nagant and just they both were going through the same things a little bit, but both of them dealt with it differently. They were both going through things, but the main difference was that Hawks had endeavor to like have that hope, have that like courage and just have that drive to just keep going. He had something to look to where Nagant really did it. Nagant just kept doing stuff for the government and for the safety commission that she, she was just literally a pawn, literally a pawn in their kind of just system and she didn't want to be that anymore she didn't want to be that person where like oh she would just keep doing stuff for them and really kind of nothing get better and just oh the, the system and the commission should just quote unquote brainwash people as Nagant was saying. Nagant didn't want that anymore and for that she killed the chairman and a bunch of other people and that was the reason why she was sent to Tartarus so there's a lot with her character and I don't know what's gonna happen I don't think she's gonna be dead I don't think so. Like I said, I don't know what the future with her character is in the manga right now. I have no idea, but just absolutely crazy that all for one put this like little trap inside with this quirk that he gave her if she were to maybe breach his contract so all of that was just crazy because i had no idea what was going on right there but i don't know really what is the future with her character hopefully she maybe has some sort of redeeming arc in the future or wherever we kind of go with my hero academia i'm not sure but nagant really is a really layered character and I want to see more from her. I really do. She's definitely on that list of characters that I want to see have that kind of redemption.
redemption and that just i want to see more of so this episode was really really good touched upon a lot of different things and yeah the third user's quirk i was looking at it first glance before they even mentioned that it looked like something with like oh jumping and just some sort of with energy he was storing energy in his legs but i really didn't know exactly what it was so yeah it's kind of like a kinetic energy type quirk which i think is a really good addition like all of these additions with these quirks and just finding out what they are like are pretty decent like like really they add a lot to deku and like what he was doing in here he would have balanced probably like three at a time i'd say i don't think he balanced anything more than three but like because obviously with how the third user was saying they're like oh using too much can really wear let alone maybe on your body or just energy in general but he was really using that much at a time really trying to prioritize which ones that he was doing i really really love on just how he's been able to just process all these quirks in just like a short amount of time or just however long he's been doing this and just being able to just like go back and forth with all these like i really really love that deku is and i'm really surprised on how fast it is really too like he's on lots probably like what three quirks and like the midst of maybe like I, I i don't know i don't know how long but it just feels really really quick but i just love that how much he's getting used to this and just really how good he's getting at this and it makes sense because we're coming up on some of the final stuff with these probably last seat like with the last season or two in here so i really really love how just much he's getting used to this i've been talking for probably so long a little bit but just this episode was action-packed from start to finish a lot of exposition with nagant i really really love this episode and hopefully you guys did as well let me know what you guys think about this episode and lady nagant finally being introduced into the anime and just her adaptation in general how do you think it was done how do you think the animation was done let me know in the comments down below but yeah i really really love this episode cannot wait to see honestly what the last what three episodes left right the four three four episodes left i don't really know let's just see how honestly how it's gonna end i feel like they're gonna end us on a cliffhanger because i just don't know how really the anime is gonna end or what we're just gonna end off with but i don't really know but there's a lot of stuff to talk about we will get into it next week thank you guys for watching my reaction you guys are excited for the rest of my hero academia and you guys like the channel like subscribe comment down below and as always my name is omzi and i am out